doing, chickens? Haven't experienced any amount of chicken aggression with these puppies. And Lefty officially likes to sleep with the puppies. So that's a great thing to see. So Duke's job is to protect chickens. And he doesn't exactly like it when the sheep come over here and eat with the chickens. So I have to tell him to chill out about that. Hey, focus on me. Duke. Good boy. I know, you're doing your job. Come on, chickens. Definitely go through a lot of chicken feed <laughs> at this stage. Puppies eat a lot of it. Hi, little ones. Watch out. This rooster just likes to hang out in the chicken coop all the time. Big happy family. So the big puppies are no longer in the bonding pen with the sheep. I am going to, I've already put uh, the big puppies in this bonding pen around the chicken coop a little bit. Um, but they're going to get a little more dedicated time and I'm actually going to stay in there with them to a certain degree and I'll make sure they get exposure to chicks. I've got a few chicks that they'll get some training time with. Puppies! Come on, puppies! <laughs> nice and calm. Alright, so these big puppies are going to be going to their home real soon. They're going to get their final shots, I believe, on Thursday. And then they're ready to go to their homes. So I'm going to be contacting everyone to get everything scheduled for them to be picked up. There's little red boy. He just got pecked by the rooster and he didn't flinch. Didn't do anything about it. It's awesome. He's a good boy. Hi, Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe has been skipping meals because she's so annoyed by puppies. So I'm going to have to feed her when it's not meal time. They all follow her and she she's done. She's done with puppies. 
She no longer wants to be a part of this. I do like the puppies um, coming over here and just hanging out. You know, just being around chicken smells and chicken life. Hi, Red Bull. Oh, burp. You burped. There's the little ones. By the way, when it comes to sharpening the claws of your livestock guardians, we don't do it. Those claws are like cleats. They do trim themselves. They're going to be longer than, you know, an indoor pet dog. But they need that so they can grip the ground when they're trying to run uh, toward a, a predator. So I do not recommend trimming. They have been dewormed. I've dewormed them this week. They get dewormed a few times. It's inevitable. I'll uh, end up deworming them at the end of the week again as well. If you deworm them once, that's never going to be enough. You have to do a set of deworming treatments spaced a few days apart from each other because it'll kill the adults. But then whatever eggs are still in their digestive system, those will hatch, and so you have to do a follow-up treatment to kill those before they're able to reproduce. Ladybirds puppies are ready to be selected for their home. So I'm going to go through the things that I've observed. And as I mentioned in my previous video, Ladybirds puppies, their personalities are somewhat homogenous. So you're not going to hear as wild of personality differences as you see with uh, Bobby Joe's puppies. So I'm going to start with the boys. Of course, there's a lot of boys. Um, our two biggest boys are blue and black. And uh, so black boy does have a red nose. It's official that boy has a red nose that he got that from his mama. Uh, and as I've said before, blue boy does stand up for himself pretty well, especially when uh, the bigger puppies are kind of dominating him. Um, <clears throat> he gives them a run for their money. I think he's going to be a, a pretty good protector. But he's calm when it comes to the chickens, the sheep, the livestock. You know, he's, he's been great with that. Um, he did show a little bit of food aggression in that one case where they found something that all the puppies were really interested in. Um, but as I kind of mentioned before, I, I haven't seen actual food aggression from him at dinner time. Um, he may have been, you know, a little more hungry. It was later in the day, so that meant it was getting a little bit closer to their, their time to eat. So he was probably, you know, a bit hungry at that stage. But that's the only time I've seen that, and that doesn't bother me at all. Uh, that doesn't indicate any sort of problems to me. If I saw that multiple times, then I would think that maybe there's a little bit of food aggression that he needs to work on. Okay, uh, the next one, Orange Boy. Again, calm, great with all the livestock, just like all the other puppies. One neat thing about him, though, is that when I go to the mailbox, he comes with me. And, and every time. And I don't go to the mailbox every single day, but, you know, every few days I'll walk down to the mailbox from the house and he just tags right along. Just him. Just me and him. That's kind of a funny little thing with him. It's cute. Um, Silver Boy, I also believe, is going to have a red nose. I wasn't sure if it was going to turn black or stay red or... Kind of a little bit of an in-between, but I, I do think he's going to have a, a red nose as well. Uh, red and yellow, honestly, like I said, they're, they're just homogenous. I don't have anything in particular to say about them physically or personality-wise. This bunch of puppies has just been really pretty easy to deal with. Uh, they've uh, done very well just socializing with the animals themselves. Um, and when it comes to green boys, so I mentioned that green boy is kind of the smaller of the boys, and I don't think that's a great way to describe him. He is a leaner body style. He's definitely more marima looking as opposed to the kind of 
bulky um, Pyrenees. So I think he's just going to grow up to look a lot more Maremma um, instead. I don't think he's necessarily smaller. He's just more slender uh, body uh, type. Uh, when it comes to the girls, little pink girl, she's spunky. She's so cute. She's she's adorable. And, you know, all the pup puppies have been barking quite a bit with their parents. You know, when they get startled by something and little girls just right up there with them. She's... She's so funny. Uh, the other two girls, purple and blue, they're definitely um, not quite as funky and outgoing as her, but they're great, very calm-mannered little girls. Uh, they've done wonderful. Uh, between the two of them, I think it's the blue girl that's bigger. Um, but they're both pretty large girls um, overall. Okay, now as far as whether I would recommend one dog for one type of home versus another, I have no strong feelings you know, about that. I think all of these puppies would be wonderful with chickens, sheep, goats, cattle even. You know, they weave through the cattle just fine without any problems. Um, I've seen them out there and I had a little snippet of them of the puppies just kind of hanging out in our, we call it our pond area. It doesn't have water in it. It's kind of a big bowl in the ground. Uh, but they have done a great job just hanging out with cows out there by themselves without me taking them out there even. Uh, that's a lovely thing to see, especially when they're so young. So, um, I honestly don't think you can go wrong. I think um, in this case, people are probably going to make more choices off of probably physical features um, above all. Because like I said, these personalities are just so homogenous in terms of whether I recommend them for one type of livestock versus another. So, um, of course, if you all have any questions as I'm getting in touch with you through the selection process this week... Um, I'd be more than happy to have a discussion. Y'all are welcome to call me or email me. Um, I will send out probably, um, I believe, emails or text messages. I'll try to go back and find out how people uh, communicated with me in the first place, and I try to communicate in that same method. So, um, But yeah, I look forward to uh, being in touch with each of you.